10 seconds. Hello, hello guys. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening. Good afternoon. And we are back seconds. for the uh, second series natin for today. That's gonna be Talon Esports up against Bleed Esports. So, tignan natin kung uh, kakayanin ba ng uh, Bleed Esports tong Talon na parang piling natin. Number one team pa rin. It is Dyer's ban. So, fifth ban ang inaantay natin dito. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. It is Radiance Ban. Timbersaw will be the fifth ban. And over to Talon Esports. Ano ba yung uh, pwede pa na lang ma-remove? Ten seconds. Five seconds. Ember Spirit will be removed by Talon. Eh, medyo nagkakaubos na ng uh, mid-hero tayo dito. Void Spirit, possible kunin ng Talon esports if they want to. Siya lang naman na yung open na Spirit Brothers ngayon na medyo okay. 10 seconds remain. 5 seconds remain. Dyer's turn to pick. Wind Ranger at your service. And that's Wind Ranger pick for Talon. So, uh, possible na support. Kinagawa din naman ng Talon esports yan. Support Wind Ranger, yung meron Diffusal Bleed. And now uh, for Bleed esports, any uh, heroes left for them to seconds. actually grab? Void Spirit, like what I've said, available pa rin naman. One of the Five most uh, popular mid heroes so far. Dahil nga Universal Hero is pretty strong at this point. Kaya sobrang popular ng mga ganong heroes. Void Spirit, Magnus. Dyer must choose. Void incarnate. Yeah, that's it. Void Spirit has been picked by Bleed Esports. Pero ba tayong magandang middle lane hero for Talon? Actually, na pwede nilang maikuha dito. Uh, Shadowfiend ba? Yung uh, asaan natin na pwedeng lumain up against uh, Void Spirit. Pwede siyang malugi talaga dun. So, Ten let's see and find seconds. out. Five seconds to pick. Silencer for the fourth one ng uh, Bleed Esports. Yeah, just a typical position 5. Yung uh, kinawa niya dito. Casual post 5 hero. Na medyo... Okay naman sa lane stage. Sadyang yung disabled lang, yung hindi niya ma-i-offer. Pero maganda naman yung global silence, especially if you're the one initiating the fight. Five seconds. Dyer's turn to back. Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker will be grabbed by Talon. So, ano to? Bloodseeker mid? Tama ba? I mean, na nakakita na ako ng ganong matchup. Bloodseeker void spirit. And uh, okay naman yung matchup na yun for the Bloodseeker. Especially Rapture this game. Sobrang ganda in dealing with void spirit. So, this might be their answer for the void spirit.
Radiance turn to ban. It is Dyer's ban. Rubik will be banned out. Pak naman dito for Bleed Esports. And on to the last ban. Tingnan natin. Meron pa ba silang uh, magandang may remove na hero? Ten seconds. Five seconds remain. Support hero na lang naman na yung missing for bleed. Hero para kay DJ. It is Radiance Man. Templar Assassin will be removed. Last pick for Bleed. Here we go. Maka possible uh, yung merong disable na support. Yung kunan nila dito dahil lacking sila in terms of control. They only have the Void Spirit for the Disabled, Aether Remnant. Di pa ganun ka-reliable. So, uh, who actually is yung uh, available na magandang makuha ng Blade Esports dito for their support? Disruptor. So Disruptor will be grabbed by Bleed. And now over to Talon. Meron ba silang magandang uh, last pick? Possible core hero yung inahanap nila dito. I think support naman natong Wind Ranger. 10 seconds remain. 5 seconds remain. I'm on chill casting along muna tayo guys if it's okay. Last pick for Talon. 30 seconds left. So Beastmaster for the final pick on Talon Esports. So yun nga. Middle lane Bloodseeker yung mga yara dito. And if we are talking about... Middle lane Alchemist, Alchemist pala, sorry. So uh, off lane Beast with Wind Ranger. Yeah, feeling ko solid naman yung draft ng Bleed. Pero parang... Magiging okay kasing start ng Talon Esports. Ayun yung pinaproblema ko dito. Maganda naman yung draft ng Bleed overall. But it's all about the facing, di ba? Kung sinin unang makakuha ng mga timings sila. And I think Talon has the advantage pagdating sa mga timings. Lalo na uh, magiging okay yung kanilang lane stage. Kaya naman sila magiging problem dito for the Alchemist on mid lane. Bloodseeker up against Doom. And Beastmaster with Gwyn Ranger, di ba? Up against Star Bleed. So I do think I'm gonna go for Talon Esports for the game 1. Tignan natin. Maybe I'm wrong. Like I said, maganda yung draft ng bleed. Medyo fun lang talaga ako ng malakas na lane stage. Kasi mas madali yung laro eh. Kapag una pa lang, lamang na kayo.
So here we go, game number one of our second series. Tigyan natin. Kanina, it was an upset, di ba? Yung nangyari. Cirque siya, Tino Zero, yung blacklist. Tigyan natin, malay mo, di ba? Another upset, Blit Esports. Matalo nila yung uh, talon ni Esports. Hindi naman na uh, ganun kapangit yung laro ng Bleed. I mean, based on their recent games, maganda naman yung laruan ng Bleed Esports. Main problem right now is malakas kasi talaga yung talon. Talon too strong. Sked nila Yowe. Wala silang match ngayon sa pagkakalam ko. Kasi last series natin will be Bumi Sports up against Execration. So, uh, for today's series, wala naman silang uh, laban ngayon. Hindi ko sure kung kailan yung laban ulit ng Army Juniors. It's possible sa next na Southeast Asia Div 1 natin. So eh, baka Wednesday blood. pa. Thirty seconds and counting. Who will emerge victorious? So, mukhang even start lang naman ata tayo dito. 2 for 2 for the bounty runs. Wala naman nagkaroon ng uh, engagement or anything. So, normal lanes lang yung aabutan natin dito. Tamang uh, chill casting lang muna tayo guys if it's okay. Nothing to your pile. You almost had that too. So as expected, mukhang wala naman magiging problema dito for the lane stage over Talon Esports. And look at Savage, diba? <laughs> Just manning up. Hitting Ice Ice Ice, if he can. And same goes with DJ. Thunderstrike available naman para sa kanyang first kill point. Tamang pressure naman siya up against Pugna. Para hindi makatulang yung Pugna dito sa may Bloodseeker. So may kanya-kanya silang laban. <laughs> support for a support. Oh. I mean, core heroes for our core heroes. Yeah, blood light, movement speed, available para kay Savage. That's gonna be first blood secured. Una sila nag level 2, and dun nila nakakuha yung advantage for that first blood. Savage pa yung nakasecure, which is gonna be huge. Para sa kanyang lane stage, magkakaroon siya ng uh, mas okay na start dito. We're done. Okay, Alchemist, di ba? With the Acid Spray. Mahirapan yung Void Spirit dito. Lalo na meron din battle yung Alchemist. So far, free farm naman yung Alchemist. 15 last hits. Same goes with the Bloodseeker. Metamorphosis para kay Jackie will be used. And uh, Windrun available naman para kay Q. So they have the slow still. One more right click coming in through. Q goes down. Dubu secures the kill. So, intelligence stolen pa yun para sa silencer. Permanent intelligence stolen. Makin bagay na rin yan. Uh, at least da, nag uh, pay off naman yung glaives. Early glaives point para sa ating uh, silencer. Nakakuha pa siya ng intelligence sa galagad. -agad. 
Bot lane, Blood Knight, available naman. DJ dropping low. Mukhang papatay pa nga siya ni Savage dito. And yes, he'll fall. Nagkaroon pa ng HP si Savage. But a Storch Earth from Ice 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 is still plenty enough to kill him. So nakakuha pa rin naman ng trade card pa paano si Savage. Though for Ice Ice Ice, malaki na nakuha niya dun na. Solo XP. Tapos position naman pa yung pinatay niya. That's good for Bleed Esports. Ito yung kailangan nilang mangyari sa may bottom lane. Which is gonna be Oli. Might be next. Here they have the glimpse once more. And how about for Savage? Blood Grenade available for the slows needed. DJ Dito gonna die once more. So Savage getting the trade kill. So siya naman yung nag-benefit ngayon. Siya yung nakakuha ng solo XP. And as for DJ, wala siyang TV pabalik sa kanyang lane. So possible ma-abuse muna ito ng talo ng Esports itong bottom. Mag-isa lang si Ice 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 till level 3. And that's a level 4 Bloodseeker. Four minutes in. Too bad for you. Silencer goes down sa may top lane. Dubu dead. Now glimpse over to Savage. Kinetic Field will be able to drop him inside. Do they have the damage? Savage brought in. Um, he's getting low. And that's a kill secured for Silent Bleed Esports. Mag isa si Savage dun. Nagkaroon tayo ng rotation kasi. And uh, another hero dead. Third blade dito. Mabibigyan naman. So na-even out naman agad ang talo ni Esports. But here comes Gordon with the 8-0 run and play. Catches the Wind Ranger. Q is dead. And they're going for DJ. Glimpse was used. Might be able to bring down the Beastmaster after this. Namatay din naman si DJ while that was happening. So even exchange na naman tayo dito. Pero 4 core done. Sobrang gala nun. At ako yung na-disconnect. Bumalik pa naman. Lumaban pa rin naman guys. Yung ating connection dubo dito. Hinahabol pa nga ni Mikoto. A solo kill para sa Alchemist. Ayun yung sulit. Alchemist sumolo kill. You get nothing. So, medyo ma-action yung game natin kahit pa paano. Ito yung maganda. Hindi yung uh, puro farm lang yung nagkita natin. Talaga tinatry nilang uh, kumuha ng mga kills. So, na ito. For the Beastmaster, is going for what? Crimson Guard? Ah, Dominator pa rin naman pala. Okay. First time to see a Beastmaster going Dominator again. Halos tatlo na na-cover kong Beastmaster nung, uh, sa China region. Puro Crimson Guard. Ganun yung item. Hindi siya nag-domi. So, at least ito. Dominator build. And now, Rupture over to Ice Ice Ice. They have the Void Spirit here. Alchemist joining in. Stable Concoction will be thrown. Ice 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 will be the casualty. Now, can they catch DJ? Looking for the angle para kay Q. Or maybe the body block. But the Thunder Strike will be there for the slowest needed. And mukhang di naaabutan si DJ dito. Might be Dubu. Yung pwede nilang uh, patayan. Pero hindi pa rin na enough. Mababuhay pa rin naman si Dubu. Ice 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 lang naman yung naging casualty dun. Looking at the net worth, mayaman yung Bloodseeker. Mas mayaman yung Alchemist. Alchemist mid. 
And uh, interesting itemization for the Alchemist. He's going for Armlet para sa kanyang first item choice. I mean, yung, ito yung mga old school na Alchemist dati, no? yung nag-armlet bago mag -regions. And as for Q... Yeah, last word Arcane Curse combo. Doom has been used on the Bloodseeker. Now, do they have enough catch over to Savage? I think they have the damage, and Savage Tito is dead. Now, how about the rest? All Tito trying to escape. Drops the Nether Ward, Terrible joining in, but here comes uh, Jabs with the rotation as well. But they've lost two already. Wild Access will be drawn over to Ice Ice Ice. Jabs got silenced with the last word, and here comes Mikoto looking for the Doom. I might be able to kill him for sure. 2 for 2 trade ang nangyari bigla and Mikoto yung pinaka nag-benefit dun with the double damage rune. Double kill secured for the Alchemist. Now as for Mikoto, with his Alchemist, malapit-lapit naman na sa kanyang armlet. A stable concoction over to the third blade. Primal Roar for the follow-up third blade down. So another core hero dead for the side of Blade Esports. Look how fast they're rotating around the map. Kakagaling na nila sa bottom lane. Using the Twins Gate, kill someone on top lane. Two heroes dead again for the side of Blade Esports. And the uh, neutral stacks, makuha pa nga dito ni Mikoto. Now, 10 minutes now, going 11. It's 4k lead for Talon. Mayaman pa rin yung Bloodseeker compared to Third Blade. Which is not a good sign. Rupture Juice over to Corda. Well, meron naman siyang Arcane rune. The simulator is available. Now, trying to bring down the Alchemist. Alchemist armlet. Magagamit pa nga ni Mikoto. To give him enough HP to try and fight. And there goes the Doom. Drop over to the Alchemist. Now, can they have the damage over to the Alchemist? He's regenerating up thanks to this uh, chemical rage. So, possible pa mabuhay dito si Mikoto. Oh, actually, nabutan pa rin naman si Mikoto dito. And he's been brought down. Same goes with the Bloodseeker. Much bigger kill security for Celebrity Esports. Do catches the Pogna as well. Make it three dead in total. Bleed Esports finding their way to fight back. And it was successful. From 4k lead down to 1k na lang bigla yung kalamangan dito ng uh, Talon Esports. So bleed looking good already. So in dito yung Alchemist na mag -regions. He's going for Blink Dagger para sa kanyang next item. So yun pala yung reason ko ba siya nag-armlet? Primal Roar. Over to the Silencer, that's gonna be an easy pick off. Support lang naman yun. Mid Tower secured for Talon. So more map control. The radiant scan, eager to know Dyer's whereabouts.
Grabe, sobrang dami neutral stacks para kay Chabs. Yeah, maybe after taking this, uh, possible meron na tayong uh, Vlads para sa ating uh, Beastmaster. Malaking bagay rin yan, yung aura given ng Vlads. Lalo na kapag uh, Helm of Overlord na yung kanyang item. Kakaroon sila ng isa pang Ancient Crypt. Shackle Shot will be there. Still, we'll be able to catch Q with a Glimpse back, please. Static Storm. Actually, Q. We'll manage to escape. Mikorta joining in. Pero wala siyang mabatuhan ng Unstable Concoction. So, it will stun himself. But now, the Primal War available for Jabs catching the Doom. Ice 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 down for the side of Bleed Esports. So, kaya pala parang tumigil yung Bleed on Killing Wind Ranger since nakita nila yung Alchemist papunta na sa may bottom lane. Radiant should look to their middle tower. Now, wisdom rune para kay DJ to uh, take. So, na ang plano na magkabilang team. Mukhang uh, nag-settle down muna dito. Tamang uh, farm muna. But rotation coming up for jobs. Unfortunately, Tumblr's toy para kay DJ successful naman. But the Glimpse back play a bit too late. Umabot pa rin naman yung Primal Roar. And DJ Tito will be brought down. A smoke play for bleed. Radiant are scanning for enemies. Eh, pong wala naman nata tayong uh, magkakitaan with this uh, kind of smoke. Farm lang muna ulit. Manta style available na for the third blade. Yeah, Bleed Esports still playing around dito sa may bottom area. Ito pa lang kasi yung uh, tier 1 tower na nababasagan nila. Yung bottom lane. So parang dito pa lang decent kumuha ng uh, map control. Yung uh, Bleed Esports. Roshan attempt for the side of Talon Esports. This is very possible dahil mayroon silang Alchemist, naka-armlet, mayroon pang Acid Spray for armor reduction. And they even have jabs in Beastmaster. Yung Aura provided. Yeah. Roshan secured. Hindi ko lang sure kung kanina nabibigay yung Aegis kasi honest win na si Savage. Possible ka Savage. Dahil din naman siya pupunta dito nang wala lang. Patapos na yung Roshan. Kasi pumunta lang para kumuha ng Aegis. Hindi <laughs> mo na nakapalo. Well, smoke play immediately. Talon is sports. There goes the unstable concoction. Do found do boo. Doom has been dropped over to the Alchemist. But they might be down the silencer already. The stun kicks in from Savage. Ice is sorry. He's gonna be in trouble. Actually, Shaka shot pala yun. Sorry. 
Wala kami basher si Anne. Savage. Napacheck talaga ako sa ko parang aga pa para magkaroon ng basher yung Bloodseeker. Bottom tower. Mau hua nama nanti talon esports. They are up 5k lead right now for talon. Yeah, bottom tower secured. A glimpse over to Savage. This is early. I mean, at 19 minutes, they're trying to push the tier 3 bottom tower. Beside them, Bleed Esports. Now, disengage for the side of Talon. Will they try and uh, get this Tormentor 20 minutes in? Pwedeng kunin ito ng uh, Talon Esports. So, free shard upgrade might be given to Pagna or Wind Ranger. Parehong okay lang naman yung short dito. Actually, nag-hesitate pa rin naman dito yung talent if they will get this. Okay, Mikoto joins in and this is gonna be Tormentor secured para sa side ng talent esports. Shard upgrade was given to Pogna. So, ando na yung kanyang netherward uh, shard. Malaking bagay yan, especially in dealing uh, with Thurblade's illusions. Pwede mo ma-clear out agad. Isang life drain lang dun sa may netherworld kung in-range yung uh, illusions. And uh, possible pa sila kumuha dito ng next Tormentor. Now for the Alchemist, BKB will be his next item choice. Five K advantage, but in the man. And a smoke play for Talon. Twins Gate. Gagamitin naman dito ng Talon Esports. Over to the top lane. Walang alang heroes dito for the side of Bleed. Wow, Cordon with early nullifier for the Void Spirit. Sobrang needed ba na nullifier this game? Dahil sa decrep? Possible? I don't know. Savage. Well, they dropped the Doom over to the Pogna. And that is Pogna down. Position 5. Yung hinuli na doon. Now, it's gonna be cute to be in trouble. Wala na siyang win run dito. And that's metamorphosis for the third blade with the Eye of Skadi. The slows needed is plenty enough. So, namatay na doon yung two supports for the side of Talon. Disengage mo na for Talon. No point of taking this fight, pero sobrang yaman ng Turb Blade. It's one of the biggest concerns para sa ating game. Ang yaman ni Jackie dito. Mas mayaman siya compared to Alchemist. Mas mayaman siya compared to Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker, maybe he needs short upgrade. Yan, possible. Para lang makalaban sa Turb Blade. Para magkaroon siya ng enough damage. Kasi yaman na ng Turb Blade.
Bottom lane, they jump in over to the Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger Tito. But quickly fall. Pops the BKB for Savage. Not gonna be enough to kill the Doom. Oh, Mutika Pamabatuan and Mikoto score done. The silencer has been brought down by Jabs. In Abut Sha no Beastmaster. Radiant's middle tower is no more. Smoke play, gadgets too, no BGP for Savage, the Zarek Storm, trap him inside, but the life dream from Oli will be able to keep Savage alive. Savage too survives. And now the Alchemist blinks in forward, we don't know if he has stable concussion, but jobs with the Primal Roar available over to the Void Spirit. Oli, what insane sustain coming out from the pot. Twenty-five minutes in, and it's four kill lead for Talon. Walapa until now, walapa na mga tayo ng idea kung sino ba talaga yung mananalo sa game nato. So brand ticket. I mean, may aman yung third lead given. Talagang ahead siya compared dun sa tatlong core heroes ng Talon. Pero may aman parit naman yung tatlong core ng Talon esports. Assault Kiras for the next item choice ni Mikoto. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Well, pop the BGP for the Bloodseeker. He got doomed up. But as for Savage, will be escaping. But the chase is continuing for the side of Bleed Esports. And that's the Void Spirit bringing down two heroes on the back lines. Now Q is doing his best to protect his team, it's, but it's not gonna be enough. Q needs to run right now with the Wind Run. But Abuta is still Infernal Blade from Ice Ice Ice. And now over to the Beastmaster, getting killed by Jackie. Three heroes dead for the side of Talon. Bleed. A big win for them. Seven minutes and less than one k na lang agad agad para sa talon esports. In terms of scaling, much better yung bleed sa pagkakalam ko. Wow, kinuwa niya yung ano cooldown reduction. So, grabe. Pinaroyote niya dito yung cooldown ng kanyang Doom. Having Octarine Core, neutral item, cooldown reduction na lang na neutral item yung cooldown dito ni Ice Ice Ice. He went for... Ano ba ito? 
movement speed. Tapos yung automatic mag-miss. Yung first attack. In every, uh... 2.67 seconds. Dahil sa cooldown. Well, silencer. Been caught. He's down. Doesn't have any buyback for the global silence. But we're gonna do found DJ. Doom will be used. Over to Jabs. And actually, Mikoto is just getting destroyed by the illusions. Yeah, that's one of the, uh... Problem of the alchemist kapag gawala siyang regions, di ba? Yung evasion be available. I was expecting na regions nga sana yung itemization niya sa game na to. Pero talagang uh, right click na lang yung gagawin ito ng alchemist. As well, Kiras, once it's up, medyo doable naman na yan. Pwede na lang uh, tiisin yung damage yung third base. Pero third base na sobrang yaman, di ba? With B fly up, someone needs to build MKB. That's one thing for sure. Meron naman tayong Milner for the Bloodseeker. Every time na nagkaproc yung Chain Lightning, that's considered as True Strike. Pero wala pa nga tayo sa pinaka-damage item ng Turret Blade. I'm expecting Daedalus yung kanyang kukunin dito. Let us see. Five-man small play for the side of Bleed. Actually, uh, Talon is for disengaging, pero inapot si Q! Q down for 40. They're making their way out there, but this is Yeah, Roshan. Ito, nagmamadali na yung Bleed Esports. Nag-TPN na sila may bottom lane, and now, possibly looking to uh, contest this rush. Second Roshan to, daytime, 30 minutes na. Aegis and Cheese. And as for Mikoto, he wants to get that AC. Bago tayo magkaroon ng teamfight. Kaso mukhang malabo. Wala na siyang pagpa-4 man. Silencer. Primal Roar, Zubu dito, pops the Global Silence, pops the BGB para kay Jabs. Now, where's the follow-up? The stun came in from Mikoto, brings down the Silencer, he'll pop back for this. And now the Void Spirit looking for the backline heroes, trying to bring down the Pugna. Pugna dito still alive as it, at this point, but the fire not gonna be enough. They have the Static Storm controlling the Alchemist, and now the Terrible Blade is just hitting hard right now. Alchemist down for 50. Oli, the crap over to himself. Trying to escape in the hands of the Terrible Blade. Continuous chase for the side of Bleed. Doom has been dropped. They even have the glimpse ready from DJ. And that's two heroes down in the low for the side of Talon Esports. And now for Bleed Esports, time for them to go in. Roshan na natato para sa Bleed Esports. Shiva's card available na para sa Doom. So right now, ahead na talaga yung Bleed Esports. Wala pa silang answer up against Third Bleed. For the Bloodseeker, he needs more item. Actually, he's going for Lincolns para sa kanyang next item choice. Wala pa rin naman yung MKB na yung expect natin. Good thing meron naman na siyang shard. So at least andun yung extra damage na kailangan dito ni Savage. Bleed approaching the high ground right now. Nether Ward, life drain play para kay Oli. will be forcing Jackie to disengage. 
And uh, back on farming. Possible. Yung mga yara dito. Maybe get other objectives such as tier 2 towers. Pwede ko yun yung pwede gawin ng Blade Esports. A gift from the Temples of Battle. Five K lead, twenty three twenty yung score. Radiant are scanning for enemies. Ice is size on its way to look for the alchemist. Eh, tama naman yung call nila. Nandun naman talaga yung alchemist. But it was too late. Napag-disengage uh, naman yung alchemist dito. Nakaramdam din naman siya. Kasi wala nang nagpakita ng hero for bleed esports. Now, as for bleed, the smoke play. Dire-diretso lang, papuntang tier 2 top tower, malamang, ang gagawin nila dito. Savage farming, and Savage found, pops a PKP immediately. He got doomed up! Wala na magagawa dito si Savage, and that's a Bloodseeker dead for the side of Talon. Down for 70, I think for Bleed, this is gonna be a big opening for them to actually push and get the high ground objective. Tier 2 top tower, mukhang makukuha naman na ng Bleed Esports dito. I'm not even sure how will Talon fight without their Bloodseeker for another 50 seconds. Now, here comes third Bleed. Gale Force. Trying to delay this. No fortification. Shackle Shot will be dodged with the Manta style of the uh, Jockey. And that's third tower down. Now they managed to bring down the Wind Ranger with a Glimpse back play and a quick burst from the Void Spirit. Now Do founds the Alchemist Mikoto popping his BKB, Chemical Rage at the same time. And as for Jackie, who will just continue to hit this set of racks on top lane. Bleed Esports, they're on a good spot to actually win this game 1. Midirac secured, range racks to be followed. So complete set of racks na kuwa na dito ng Bleed Esports sa may top lane. And they will continue. Mid lane naman daw, yung kukunin nila dito. Or no? Oh, he disengaged na lang dahil pa-boy na rin yung Bloodseeker. Wala rin tayong metamorphosis for the uh, third blade. So, backing up. Actually, Beastmaster, inaabot dun. Jackie and they are ready to approach the high ground tier 2, tier 3, bottom tower yeah, four stop out na naman para kay Jackie Mantastel dodge and now over to the wind ranger they have the 8 around for the follow up control action is got doom immediately follow back immediately for the set of talent in esports Savage is trying his best but he doesn't have any damage over to Jackie. The glimpse is ready over to the Beastmaster. Two core buyback now for us at the Gundam Bleed Esports. That was huge. And as for Bleed, they'll be backing off without any casualty on their side. Spell freeze him for the third Bleed. Shorter cooldown of his spell. Spell Prism para sa Doom. Grabe na yung cooldown reduction nito. Natingin nga. 
64 seconds yung cooldown ng Drew. Sobrang bilis. Ano yun? One minute. Every minute. Anong Doom? For BKB, 50 seconds galing yung cooldown ng BKB. Galing ano to ah? Ah, uh, ilan ba? 100 seconds nga ata alam ko ang cooldown ng BKB. Oh, 100 oh. seconds. So, naging 50 na lang. Para sa Doom, kalahati na wala. 50% cooldown reduction yung meron yung Doom ngayon. Almost 50%. 18k advantage for the side of bleed. And as for Savage. Yeah, nag-queued up na siya dito ng kanyang uh, MKB. Pero mukhang uunahin pa rin niya yung Lincoln Spear. And here comes the Illusions from the third blade trying to kill the uh, third tower. Pero ando naman yung ating life drain with Nether Ward. So we'll be able to remove the Illusion immediately. Unti-unti lang. Mababasag din tong third tower. Send more Illusions. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Going 40 minutes at tayo sa game natin. Five and smoke play for Talon. Decided to uh, make a move. Since Roshan possible na rin mag-respawn. Tignan natin kailan yung added time. One minute added time only for Rosh. So sakto naman tong smoke na gagawin ng Talon ng esports. The question is, kaya ba nalang manalo sa teamfight up against Bleed? Daedalus available na rin para sa Void Spirit, so more damage for Bleed Esports. Forty minutes. Roshan is about to spawn. Daytime. Aghanim's blessing will be given. And sino ba yung mga ideal pang kumuha ng Aghanim's blessing dito? Actually, lahat sila pwede for Bleed Esports. Pwede nalang ibigay kay DJ. Since meron naman Blink Dagger si DJ, I think kay DJ bibigay yung Aghanim's blessing. If ever man makakuha dito yung mga Bleed Esports. Yeah, mas ideal sa Disruptor. Para kung sila yung mga una mag-initiate, then wala na magagawa yung talent esports. Now a smoke play for the side of talent esports. Bleed esports anticipating this move. So they'll be smoking up as well, getting in position to try and take this fight. The Doom has been dropped. Double Doom used over to the two big cores. And the Primal Lord will be able to bring down the Doom immediately. Bloodseeker trying to escape. And now they do catch the Bloodseeker with a glimpse back play from DJ. He's out for 70. No buyback for Savage. And there we have it. Aegis, Cheese, and Aghanim's Blessing. Uh, actually, si Jackie yung kumuha ng Aghanim's Blessing. Alright. Terror Wave for the extra control. Mirrors of my delight. Forty-two minutes in, and here goes Bleed. Yeah, third tower finally has been brought down.
Doom. Flamma's Roar stuns him up. Can he survive? Ice 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 dead already. Yeah, an awkward initiation for the Doom itself. But now the Doom catches the Wind Ranger with the Glimpse back play ready. The Crep, Life Drain keeping the Wind Ranger alive. But it's too much. The damage is so high for Jackie. Yeah, going for the next third tower. The final one. Fortification use. Asso steps in forward for the board spirit. Walang ala siyang aabutan dito. Pero sobrang weird yung ginawa dun ng Ice Ice Ice. Parang um, pilit na pilit. Yung nangyari. Thunder is up para kay Jackie. And now, over to the Alchemist. Blinking in forward, dropping low already thanks to the third bleed. His damage is too much. But they've lost the Bloodseeker. Third bleed still has the Aegis. Glimpse, Static Storm, use over to the Alchemist. There's nowhere to run. Para kay Mikoto, he's out for 100 seconds. This might be it. Game should be over. GG has been called Bleed, taking the game one of the best of three series. So what a performance by Bleed this time around. It's all about farm and items, key items. And uh, like I have said, malakas yung draft ng Bleed Esports. Talon, kailangan talaga nilang mag-dominate entirely para lang may panalo tong game to. But it never happened. They have some momentum on their side, but I think it might be the region's game for the Alchemists. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Pero 1-0 na tayo dito, Bleed Esports. Can they uh, actually get the 2-0 up against Talon? Let's see and find out after the short break. Be right back. Thanks so much for watching.